there's the farmer out there that was is responsible for killing some of my honeybees last year and I didn't even get an apology I've known him for over 30 years called him and told him what had happened until I talked to his family never got an apology he was spraying on a windy day with after two hours after he was out there planting corn and spraying you know, neonicotinoids my bees started dying no apology I called the state the next day and the state said yes your bees died from neonicotinoids and a month later they told me the farmer did nothing wrong so I got to put up with that those chemicals on on my property from farmers now this has got sugar beets out there and he's been spraying this field twice a month and you see how windy it is right now the winds coming from the west northwest so hopefully that helps my bees but this is just ridiculous Farmers in this country are about the most evil thing you can come up with. And if our government ever collapses, he's first on my list to take out. He's almost 50, never been married, has no kids. He's a Mennonite. I think he's probably gay. He grew up around sheep. Maybe he has a fetish for sheep or something like that. He's the last of his kind, hopefully. Pathetic. I can't do anything about the chemicals killing my bees. Just ridiculous. And my bees didn't go out to the field last year to pick up the chemicals, the pesticides. It blew in from the field. 150 yards south of me, the day was windy, coming from the south, and it blew right through the trees. You can't smell it, you can't taste it. And it blew right into my hives and started killing my bees within two hours. Just think what it's doing to us. GMO foods killing us slowly. Um, if you look at some videos on YouTube about GMO, it's not good. They only tested it. Monsanto only tested it for 90 days. So, and for the government to back up the chemical corporations and then for them to back up the crop farmers that are actually spraying the chemicals, it's just... It's criminals what it is that I have to put up with that. You know, my wife doesn't have breasts anymore. She has one nipple of 30 years living in this area, being exposed to all these chemicals. My kids grew up here on this land. Who knows what it's going to do to them? I mean, gosh, at the hospital when my wife was getting treated, they said that people are getting younger and there's more people getting cancer. And our government just goes right along with it. Government doesn't care about us. You guys need to figure that out. Okay, thank you.